Yo, what is up, me guys? Welcome back to the Let's Talk Fighting channel. Now, I know it's been a little bit. I've been working a lot lately, but I'm back now. But today, as you can tell by telling the thumbnail, what I want to be talking about, obviously, the last KSI boxing event was the Zone Axe Misfits Boxing, which was KSI's boxing promotion, Misfits. And they said that we have like a, was it a three or four more uh, fight deal really uh, with them where they're going to be holding multiple events. Obviously, KSI had his in August. I think it was August 27th. Uh, now, this is the Zone Misfits number two. KSI ain't on this one, but there's a lot of other YouTubers, a lot of other influencers on this one. And I just want to go over it and take a look at it because this will be going to be deep diving into very, very soon. Maybe looking at some of the fights, maybe giving some predictions, all of that, and seeing where all these uh, guys are at because there's no... KSI, there's no Logan Paul, there's no Jake Paul, there's no Deji, there's none of the big, big names, there's no Gib uh, that are usually involved in these events, it's ones that, yeah, they may be big names, but usually not in the YouTube boxing scene, so it will be interesting to say the least, but we're looking at it all, I want to go down it all and see who is fighting, so first up we have Halal Ham versus DTG, Astrid versus Kaylee Colburn, which I, I believe that they're TikTokers. I believe that's a woman's fight as well, which will be interesting. Tom Sinati, which I don't know who it is, versus Jack Bain. Jack Bain, I know, is a TikToker. Uh, I've seen him a lot. Anthony Taylor, we've seen Anthony Taylor a lot, versus Ashley Tibai. Uh, then I believe it's another female fight. Some of these fights, by the way, I heard that some of them got cancelled, rearranged, whatever. I think that some of the fighters on this card was supposed to be fighting someone else, and then they realized that's not really a good matchup, so we're going to switch it and move some opponents. Uh, but next up would be Andrea Jane Bunker versus Carla Howie. Then we get on to the free fights that I'm interested in and that we all, I, I believe a lot of us want to see. Swarms is back. Swarms versus Kristen Hamby. Now, obviously, Swarms is a UK rapper. He fought KSI in KSI's last boxing event as the first fight to open the entire show. And obviously, he trained for like, what, two weeks? Didn't come in in an amazing shape. But you know what? We'll give him the credit because he promoted the shit out of that fight and made us all want to watch it. Even though we all knew he was going to lose, he made us watch the fight for him as well as KSI. So it was very good on him. But ever since he lost KSI, he's been taking advantage of his uh, the relevancy that he's gotten. And he's been dropping this is this in every YouTuber saying he still wants Deji calling out Austin McBroom. He hasn't really called out Gib though, but he's been calling out basically everybody. But the one person that he kept calling out over and over and over again was Christian Hanby, which I think he's only fought once and it was against Fatale. And I believe he won on decision. I think. I'm actually not sure. I think he won on decision. But either way, Swarms versus Christian Hanby. That will be the I was about to say the third fight of the night. The the, the co-main event to the co-main event. I don't know. <laughs> then it gets in. Then it gets real interesting. Slim. Now, Slim is just coming off an amazing performance against FaZe Temper. Which we all know what happened. We don't want to talk about it. But Slim, Slim fucked him up. He's fighting Ryan Taylor. Ryan Taylor, I'm pretty sure you saw him on, I, I believe it was at iDubs' this card or something, and basically, he headbutted his opponent, and then the, he got the, disqualified. Then I believe he was meant to fight Slim, and he took a cheap shot at Slim and broke Slim's jaw, or done something to his jaw. Fight never happened. Then he fought, he finally actually got in the ring and fought Anthony Taylor. Um, I believe none of these guys won up till that point. Ryan Taylor... Anthony Taylor couldn't get in, get a fight, uh, couldn't win a fight, and Ryan Taylor could not even make it to the fucking ring because he kept getting disqualified. They fought, pretty sure Anthony Taylor won that one, finally. Uh, so now Slim is fighting Ryan Taylor. Hopefully it actually goes through this time, and I, I believe we all know how that's going to go, that one. But then it brings us to the main event, which I'm very interested in. Now, it is Jay Swingler from TGF. Versus Ch Ch Charidly, I believe it is Charidly's. I'm going to be honest, I do not know who Charidly's is. He's an American YouTuber, apparently. I've never seen him before, don't know who he is. But Jay Swingler, obviously from TGF, 
I like TGF. He's going to be boxing. He did fight once, and that was against Gibb. And aside, obviously, Jake Paul, Austin McBroom, uh, what do you call the guy that he fought on Social Gloves one? Him? I, I don't know. I forgot his name. Uh, Taylor Holder. Taylor Holder, aside, like, them free. Uh, this was Gibbs' best fight so far, and it was Gibb won all the rounds, I'd say, but it's just because Jay Swingler would not go down, and he would just not back up, and it was a very good fight. Jay Swingler showed us his toughness in that fight, that he wouldn't back down, he wouldn't go, but now he looks in good shape, and he wants to get back in, he wants to redeem himself, so that fight is going to be pretty entertaining, but yeah, that is the literal, the zone fight card. Now, I think that's going to be a very good fight. I know, I know that there was uh, talks about um, Raheem Rock, Raheem Rockman Jr. fighting Victor, Victor. Uh, I can never remember his name. Victor, yeah. Um, I'm just really bad with names. Yeah, they were supposed to fight, but they got rearranged or something. So now it's literally just all YouTubers, all TikTokers, all influencers. Which you know what? I don't mind. And this will be happening in October. Which, I think this could be a good fight. Halal Ham obviously lost to Saul Poppy. He's more of just a scrapper. That Halal Ham, DDG, going to be a scrap. It'll be interesting to see the girls fight. Uh, Jack Bean, be interesting to see him fight, because I couldn't imagine it. Anthony Taylor, uh, I guess he has a lot of experience. Another female fight would be good. Swarms versus Chris and Hamby. You know, maybe not the most skilled boxers, but the beef is there, which is cool. They're both going to sell fights. Slim first round Taylor. This is heated rivalry, so we all want to see that. And we, I personally want to see Jay Swingler uh, come in and redeem himself and actually get a win this time and see if uh, he's improved a lot in the boxing. But that is the overall main event. I wanted to just make a video announce that go through the fights and see what your opinions are let me know in the comments down below what is your opinions is there any of these fights that you're looking forward to are you not interested in this event let me know because i if you are interested in this event and you do want me to do breakdowns i kind of want to do a prediction like i do for all the other ones we're closer to the day i drop a prediction video predicting all my fights saying who i think is going to win how i think they're going to win and all of that and all the different outcomes. And maybe even react to some sparring footage and training footage from some of these fighters. If you really want to, of course. But you got to let me know down in the comments below. Are you interested in this event? Do you want to see all that? You got to let me know. But that is the whole The Zone 2, we're going to say. The Zone Misfits 2 boxing event. I'm going to be excited for it. Hope you all are too. But as always, thank you all for watching the video. Hope you all think positive, test, negative. Hope you all have an amazing day. Give me feedback. Stay safe. And I will see you in the next one. So, uh, peace. Fearless.